Hello everyone! Welcome to a new episode of GHB Tempest Trial um, Theodos, I guess. Uh, this is going to be covering Nesala and how I consider him as a unit. So, let's get started, shall we? So, Nesala comes as the first free beast unit, and it truly shows he's a free unit once you compare him. Now he's definitely not bad, his weapon is basically Giga Excalibur, but in melee form for Beast Unit. He can hit up to 3 movement if he doesn't have anything that's not a dragon or a beast around him, so that's good. 32-38 uh, is pretty solid. Uh, his main problem comes with his defense. If his defense and res was swapped around, he would do a lot better and honestly would go up a tier higher than what he currently is on the tier list. So, alright, if you need transform, gets two more attack, uh -huh. you get the idea. It's typical from, you know, beast units. Uh, he is our first source of Swift Sparrow at 5 star that we can just get from, you know, Grails. Uh, also the first source of Guard at 4 star, which is always nice. So... Alright, he looks like a decent unit at first, until you end up comparing him to what else he has. But before that, let's talk about Merge Up for people who actually do want to plus 10 the guy. So, Nisela starts with 32, 38, 24, 29, with 39 health. Um, on his first merge, after the merge update, he's going to get 2 HP, 1 attack, and 2 speed, which pushes his stats to 33, 40. Alright, that's pretty solid. And 41 HP, again, that's pretty useful, helps him get to Desperation a bit easier if you want to use him that way. So, alright. However, let's go comparison, shall we? So, yeah. You see the big problem he runs into is that Shigure exists. If he was green, or if he was red, this would not be that big of a problem. As a matter of fact, I don't understand why they made him blue when green would have made him much more sense. In case you don't know, Nacella in human form casts magic to attack in Path of Radiance at least. I'm not sure about Radiant Dawn, I don't really play Radiant Dawn, but if he's in human form, he casts wind magic. Wind magic would be green. So it would make sense if he was green. And then the only comparison you could really make is, well, Flying Nino, who is a 5 star exclusive. Shigure is a 4 to 5 star unit, so he's very easy to obtain and get the right IVs. So, yeah, Nino would be a hard comparison, but at the same time, not everyone can plus 10 a Nino. I, I know my rock is plus 10, but not everyone can get this rock to plus 10. So, if he was green, that would be much better, but as he is, he's blue. So the best comparison is, well, obviously Shigure. And what else got released from in the blue pool not too long ago? Ah yes, Legendary Azura. Grey Wave Shigure is basically Nesala. Why? Except you get access to IVs. Um, you have a slightly better stat line because you have a bit more defense, more base health, and you can get a boon without banes, so you can have 36 base attack or 40 base speed. This is kind of a huge problem, and yes, Legendary Azura is a difficult to obtain unit. I don't, I, I don't dispute this. This is completely factual, but the point is, at the end of the day. Shigure is very easy to obtain, you can get an easy boon, you don't have to spend grails, and on top of that, he doesn't get underpowered the second he has another unit around him. 
This is very important because if he has any unit that's not a beast or a dragon unit around them, well, shit. Uh, he becomes literally worse than Shigure in every way, shape, or form. Not even equal, but literally worse without any redeeming quality whatsoever. Because Shigure can just go attack plus, and then you're comparing two 14 might weapon to one another, except you choose the refine for Shigure, and you can do the same for Neisala. Neisala is stuck with the weapon he's got. Whatever he has, he can't replace. Granted, his weapon is fairly decent, and does actually give him some use, but at the end of the day, considering Shigure can run Armonic, Slaying, um, fucking Fire Sweep? Nacella doesn't really have a whole lot going for him, does he? Again, I'm not trying to say that, you know, Nacella is garbage. Because his 3 movement does come into play, and that can be nice. But the problem is, while he does have 3 movement, he has 24 defense. Going on the offensive becomes fairly difficult, which is a problem. Which means that the fact that you have 3 movement is gonna be usually wasted in your hands. It's very good at catching people off guard on defenses, where you don't care about your unit dying. But when it comes down to, oh, I don't know, um... You playing where you can't let anyone die, your best set is Gale Force. And Shigure with, you know, Legendary Azura does that fucking set way better because he can have more attack. 32 attack is very shaky for Heavy Blades, so. Ouch. Ouch. At the end of the day, Gale Force is kind of difficult, his defense is too low. And yeah, you can actually make him work, however, with attack death solo, but that is luck to a seasonal, and Shigure will typically do better outside of if you have that skill. Ah. So, uh. <laughs> that sucks, really. It really does. But, alright, let's talk about build, shall we? Like I said, Attack Death Solo is almost integral for him. Guardian Attack Death Solo can allow him to hit quite a bit of bulk. Um, with Heavy Blade, well, you're looking at 63 attack, or no, 65 attack when he's transformed, because when he's transformed, he gets an extra 2 attack as well. This makes Heavy Blade pretty consistent, and he has the speed already to make it work, so you don't even need Speed Tactic, which is the hardest part to get when it comes down to tactics. So, alright, you can also hit 40 defense and 39 res, and if you run close death instead of heavy blade, so you have a more defensive set, um, you, s you actually can hit upward to all oh, 46 defense and 45 res against melee unit. So he works pretty well in that regard, and he gets more damage through Raven King's Beak, which is definitely welcomed, but that's kind of all he's got going for him. And you can't run Desperation with this kind of set if you run Gale Force. Or Bonfire for that matter, because then you don't proc those skills, because you need to get hit back to get the last charge you need to proc them. So... yeah, it's a bit shaky since he doesn't have a cooldown minus one weapon, something Shigure does have access to. Attack Smoke is also quite essential, regardless of the build you're gonna run with him. Uh, the fact that his defense is so low makes it damn near required for him. So, yeah. Kind of a shame, but yeah. Surprising no one on the tier list is going to not be that high. He is A+. Could not really bring myself to put him any higher than A+, because I'm gonna be real. Doesn't have a whole lot to go for it. Also, concerning my tier list, I do want to add corrections. Uh, Corin was an A+, before. I actually had him set up as A tier, but I forgot to change it. So, I had to edit it through the tier list itself, and I forgot to re-go on the tier list tool and put him in A tier, so he had he was be, he has been on A plus for a few videos now. That was completely my mistake and I'm sorry about this. 
Um, another problem was Navar. He was in C tier last video. That's not where he belongs. He's easily A plus now with uh, the merge change. Blazing Wind and is refined. Uh, Robin is where she should be. Actually, no, she shouldn't be there. I believe she should be A tier. My bad on that. Um, everything else I think was about right on my last video. Yeah, I think that's about right. So, yeah. I'm sorry about that. That was completely my mistake. But, yeah. Nesala is A plus tier because I consider him to be somewhat worth it if you do value his 3 movement and you don't have Legendary Azura. Or you don't want to use Legendary Azura with a team where um, Shigure would be. Which is fair because both of, two, both of them are blue. Still, I can't bring him any higher. At first I thought he was going to be S minus because I had fucking... Nino in, it, in my head, and honestly, if his res and death were split around, like switched around, and if he was green, S minus would be the bare fucking minimum. Oh, and also, I uh, downgraded Groom Marth because I consider Wallheart to just be the better alternative. The fact that Wallheart can typically, as a plus 10 unit, hit about as much speed as, well, Marth can with more attack and a pref makes him so much better overall than Marf is, so... That's about it. But yeah, like I said about Nisala, he's not bad, he's not good, he's kind of just average, he's worth it, but barely. So... Yeah, not much else to say. Not much else to say. Pretty short video, but I had only one character to talk about. And honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that he's so comparable to Shigure, well, the video could have been longer, let's just put it that way. As it is, the fact that he's a beast unit limits him more, much more than Shigure is, so... Yeah. Shame. Shame. Still, he is a decent plus 10 unit to work on, just <laughs> Shigure will be cheaper to do and do more or less everything he can do. So, as per usual, I'm gonna see y'all later. Have a nice one, everyone.